Hello everyone, Stars RJ here, so I tip the scales with another game of Carrier Command Gaia Mission. I'm still on the map Outpost, but now it's time to um I put, I put the um walrus back into put the walrus back to the carrier and equip this new grenade launcher. And um move the armor and the hacking module to the to walrus number six, because honestly, yeah, it was the other it was taking forever to repair. So, that's what I did. Okay. Looks like our um, avenue of approach is going to be it's gonna be down there, or maybe, I'm going to take the cliffs, taking the cliffs, just checking the map for um, yeah, different approaches because, yeah. Now, grenade launcher is not very effective against aircraft, but that's alright. Now, in this situation, I actually would have one with the, with the, with the grenade launcher, then a second bore with a flak gun. But again, I'm going back to the flak gun, so... Might as well go with this grenade launcher. And hope for the best. Yeah. This is gonna suck. But as you can see here, so I can take the, can take the cliffs. But a turbo boost is much faster. But again, you know, early stage of the game, you gotta take it in certain ways. Even though, even though it might kill you, it might kill you to just hey, come on, get moving already. Ah! The other thing with the grenade launcher is that it's very effective against structures and turrets. The problem is getting in close range. Hence why this vehicle has armor. So we can get within range. Alright. And I mentioned, I think I saw that, that bridge down there and destroyed those turrets. That's just one, that's the way to the command center. So the command center is not too far from here. Then I think I can put the rest of the video about just how explaining how the resource system works. I think that's how how it is. After outpost you get you get command of a whole lot more than just the um you get to produce a lot of stuff. You want to produce the carrier fuel. Okay, that would I want to want to produce carrier fuel. So get moving. Now, the thing about the grenade launcher is you gotta have, you kind of gotta have more accuracy than other weapons. I mean, short range, a short range weapon, kind of short range. Oh, no! Yes, got it. And then, if one of your other vehicles, you gotta run them over. You gotta, if one of your infantry, mostly, you gotta run them over. Oh, okay, they actually give you a little indicator about what's good, what good angle to hit them with. Oh, yeah! Oh, nice! Um, gotta get in range here. Oh crap, I'm dying. Oh no. Never mind. Never knew about this uh, ranged indicator. Come on. Come on. There we go. Turret destroyed. Hopefully, all the defenses are down. Nope. It's... Oh crap! There's an air there's aircraft here. There's aircraft. There's aircraft. There's aircraft. Aircraft reporting. Okay, that's destroyed. That aircraft is going to be is going to cause problems. Next up, next aircraft number two to help out here. Probably not. Get back to the docks. Go go go! Run away. Six. 
Heavily damaged. It's probably a bad plan. Considering the fact that, you know, this thing is... <laughs> there's an anti-aircraft turret on the way. For the love of Manus, get moving! Yeah! What the hell? You're going across a bridge! You're going across a bridge, Charlie! Bring in the Manta! Samantha! Elevate, regulate, destructionate, and you waste all your ammo, trying to shoot targets you can't actually shoot at. Nice going, dick weedle. Yeah! Nice going, huh? Elevate, destructionate, um, litigate. And... Obliviate. Or obliterate. So I don't know. No, it doesn't. I destroyed them all. A head on attack could lead to unnecessary losses. Okay, Coro. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, up about. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Good point. I didn't destroy them all. Obviously. There you go. Now I did. Now I have. No one doesn't. Bro, how far did you go? And you missed the repair. You missed the repair spot. What? Oh, bollocks! Well, that's the consequences of losing units. You lose units. Mantas are damn. That sucks. I would go back and reload, but hey, I'm gonna take that boss. Well played, there, good sir, good sir, enemy sir. Now to make sure the enemy can't actually attack me, I'm going to destroy their nearby structure with a whole bunch of grenades. They aren't joking though about how. Oh shoot! Quick, repair yourself. That was in range of that. Ow! Things hurt in this game. Things can hurt. And you know, I just lost the manta there. Alright, I think that's suitable enough. Time to get going. Mm -hmm. Time to get going. Get this, keep on trucking and hope that stupid. Ugh, completely lost the manta. <laughs> I can build new, I can rebuild them. I have technology. Yes, we ho I hopefully have the technology. We can make them faster, stronger, and probably not after grenade launchers. <laughs> Although, no, actually no, I wouldn't want to put a grenade launcher on a Manta. You put bombs on them though. Oh, that's another thing I should mention. Mantas can also be, not, not, just, I could, not just with um, with machine guns, you can put a missile launcher on them. Missile launchers are a different, um, like, when it comes to augment slots and stuff like that, the, the, man, the Manta's, um... Missile launch is a different one. Obliterate! Okay, so... That's where the enemy turret was. Bam! Right up there, and it wiped out the and it wiped out the Manta. So for some reason, the Manta didn't want to defend itself, or at least didn't want to um, do any evasive maneuvers because it wasn't being flown by me. But yes, the command center is wonderful. The command center and the entire island are now under our control. Well done, sir. Go. Okay. What's new, Essie? I decoded an APA message. Put it on screen. Story. <laughs> so, Mr. Harrigan, where's the rest of your team now? Go to hell, you bastard. What's up the body cam? I'm not around. 
Posterity purposes. Kerrigan, <laughs> they killed him. At least yeah. it means the rest of the team could still be alive. That voice, I know it from somewhere. Oh, the symbols of a plot here. Sir, what now? What's the plan? Oh, everyone's docked. Oh, we got mantas. It's all messed up. We must continue with the plan. First oh, and everything. We we'll take as many islands as possible, improving our carrier along the way. Here we are. <laughs> Looks like it's all up to us. I don't intend to give up just yet. Alright, this is this is what yes, I mean by um I'd like to find that bastard who killed Major Harrigan. When I get my hands on him, I'll wring his bloody neck. Besides that, Aurora is in the pod with Harrigan. But he evidently denied knowing her whereabouts. I have a feeling that Aurora escaped and they're looking for her. We'll try locating their pod. Understood, sir. It's absolutely clear now. So, take as many islands as we can. Upgrade our ship and kick their sorry asses. Mm -hmm. Your orders, sir. All right. So, resource system is online. Okay, we got some new mantas because I lost them. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to build two more mantas. Now, you got two different types of machine gun: one for the manta, one for that. Now, one of the most things I'm going to be building a lot of are fuel packs. I might, like, I might build ten, then I might build twenty of these because you never know; you might need a small amount of fuel or a massive amount of fuel. Alright, another thing is the man the carrier also has a man has a has a amount of storage. So let's see on the stockpile, we have nothing in the stockpile. So it's, it's all been transferred to the carrier. You can have you can have a certain number of uh, weapons or Oh, there's the ammo box. What you can do is um equip stuff like lasers lasers and all that. Oh that's what that's that's right, it's not a flat gun, it's a quad cannon. I do not have patience for this. <laughs> now, one thing you should also produce a lot of are hacker, uh, hacking, um, hacking tools. All right. So when you, so I'm producing mantas right now, but I'm also should produce some hacking tools. These are expensive, but better than producing these things. Now you can also switch out the islands. Um, you can change the islands type by doing that. You hit this button. You can change. You can set it as a stockpile. Set it to factory or defense. Now, as I said, I think I've mentioned um, resource islands. You can set it to resource. That'll get your resource production in. Look for islands that high, have a high amount of resource. As high, if that's really high, don't switch to production. That's a good production island, I suppose. It's also a good resource island. Frontier is good at both. Outpost, on the other hand, is good at production and resource. However, what I should do is I should actually, like, when you send an island to a stockpile, when you send the island to a stockpile, it produces stuff, it doesn't produce resources, so what I should do with Outpost is, now, defense islands are good, but I don't see the point. So I'm going to change this to a ma to a mining island. Mining islands are going to take forever to convert to. Converting an island takes take forever. But, you should be able to... Oh, something got produced. Yeah, so when you can, so you can do this. Since you're at the stockpile, stockpile islands mean stuff stuff can be instantly transferred if you're at the island. Otherwise, you have to send the supply bark out, and the supply bark also has a limited size capacity, so you can't just stockpile everything in and send it straight to the carrier. You got a bit of inventory management here. So the thing is about with vehicles, though, is um, you can have up to four active vehicles of each category: aircraft and ground. And you can have two in reserve, so in case you're an idiot like I was and lose them all, lose two of them, then you can do that. Now you can't actually put quad guns and hack capsules on the same unit because quad guns are a turret. Put armor on this one though, and hack capsule and a laser. That's what I use for um, the hacking. The hacking vehicle usually is just a laser, a laser and a hack capsule. 
the, la the laser, the laser's awesome, by the way. Yeah, I'm not going to put an ammo box on the um, quad gun because the quad gun has plenty of ammo already. It's just redundant. Here, I'm going to put a grenade launcher and an ammo box on this unit. Okay, because the grenade launcher, the grenade launcher it holds the 48 grenades. That's enough. That's really enough. That's, that's enough for a campaign, I guess. But the ammo box. Um, Ammo box adds 50% more ammo. Or, yeah, I think it adds 50% more ammo. D not doubles it, but it adds 50% more. And this is going to be a backup hacker, I guess. Can't really do much with it. This, on the other hand, these are ridiculous. Alright. I'm going to see if I can produce a, um, something, something else for the Mantas. Nope, just machine guns. Although, as, um, as you can see, I can only produce grenade launch the machine gun, so if I lose that laser hacker, it's gonna be a problem. You also I also can't produce any armor engine on these things. Repaired. Oh, the engines are now repaired. As I'm saying all this, the carrier is repairing itself. Production complete. It's important to know because I wanna get I wanna get everything online. So the repair system is gonna be repairing for is gonna be repairing so shortly. And, um, once this is repaired, I think everything else gets repaired faster. I think the control tower extends your control range, so if that's destroyed, then you can't really do much. But as you can see here, the um, carrier is slowly coming together. Since the control tower is Repair destroyed. System repaired. <laughs> Repair system repaired. And uh, your hull and stuff keeps going up. Substances are important to know about because when you face the enemy carrier, you kind of want to hit their armor engines because they are really, really zippy. Oh, armor's repaired. Armor is also a high priority thing to repair. Control tower's coming together. This missile silo is low priority. It's not going to be an issue. It's not going to be used for a long time. Oh yeah, the control tower is now fixed. As soon as it gets repaired, it picks itself up. Wow. Oh, it also means now I can... I think it means now I can actually command the carrier. Right? Can I move the carrier? Wait, was that sound? Was that the sound of the engines? No, it wasn't. Damn it. Yeah, engines are also a high priority repair because, come on, it's the engines. Oh, does that mean I can now operate... <gasps> yes, the plasma gun's online! Alright, quad guns. Yeah. Plus you get some good at you get it you can't actually hit the I don't think you can hit like the guns are angled so you can't actually hit the carrier itself. But the quad guns are awesome. You can upgrade these to flak later on. Alright, and this is the plasma gun. Very long range, very powerful. This can be upgraded with a cannon, however. Now you might think, why would you upgrade the plasma gun? The plasma gun sounds powerful already. Systems repaired. The cannon actually is also quite powerful. Although the cannon does require angling your shots. Whereas the plasma gun fires straight forward, so... Maybe the power is equal on them, but... It just depends on your angling. Like the plasma gun is good for straight up shooting. Like, say, engaging the enemy carrier. Whereas the cannon could be good to shoot over cliffs. Okay, you can also launch drones from here. And, um, yeah, repaired. fuel pack is... Fuel pack is coming in. Control tower is repaired. Move the Manta on board. So I've got a spare walrus on the, um, carrier. I'm going to build two spare Mantas. Not going to produce anything else in terms of, um... Yeah. Like the hack, the hack capsule can um. Production hack. complete. Okay, supplies. Put the fuel pack on board. Range is extended. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I guess when a whole lot of stuff has been produced, or I'll, I'll pick an eye on later on. But for the moment, I've been Salt RJ, and I'm going to tip the scales in the favour of the United Earth Coalition. Signing off.